Hi everyone, welcome to Civil Engineering Tutorials. So in my previous video, I have created this ground floor plan and in this video, I will provide column in this floor plan. Okay, so don't forget to like and subscribe the channel. Also press the bell icon to never miss any updates. So let's get started. So columns are very important component in a structure. The importance of column is greater than that of the beams and slabs because if one beam fails, it will be a local failure of one floor. But if one column fails, it can lead to the collapse of the complete structure. So columns are like legs on which a structure stands. So technically, column is a structural member which is vertically and axially loaded and subjected to compressive forces and having its effective length three times greater than the least cross-sectional dimension of itself. Means, it is designed to resist axial and lateral forces and transfer them safely to the footings in the ground. Okay. So, hope you understand. Columns are very important component in a structure. Okay. So, I will provide column in this floor plan. So, this is the ground floor plan. Here. This is the 1 BHK and single room. Okay, both sides are same. So here this is the window. Uh, this distance is 5 feet. So 5 feet is W. Okay, this is W. So by mistake I have written this W1. So this is renamed this as W. Okay. So now I will create the column. So first make column layer as current layer. So, I am taking column dimension is 10 inch into 10 inch. So, take a rectangle first. Now, specify first point here. Now, go to dimension. Right click dimension. Now, 10 inch. Enter. 10 inch. Enter. So, this is the 10 inch into 10 inch column is created now. Now, I will hatch this. So, hatch H. H is the subtract key of hatch command. Now, I will do solid hatch. Solid. Now, select. Enter. Now this is the column is created. Now I will move this to this side. Now I will place the column. Okay. I saw here placement of column. How to fix columns. How to place columns. Okay. So this is the base point. Okay. So. First I will place here. So I'll take base point on this side. Okay. Now paste here. This kind of point. Okay. Next. I'll place here. So control V. Paste here. Again. See this distance is 12 feet 6 inch. Here to here this is 12 feet 6 inch. Okay. So, column should be provided maximum 13 feet distance. Column to column distance should be 13 feet maximum. Okay. Now, I will paste here. Now, click here. Okay. Now, I will provide another column here. Okay. So, paste here. You can provide column to column distance 15 feet. Okay. You can also give 15 feet. But better you should give the column to column distance within 13 feet. Okay. Now I'll provide another column here. So paste here. Now I'll copy the column in same distance, in same line. Okay, and paste here. Paste here. Okay. So here column to column distance is 12 feet 6 inch. This is on same line. You can also keep column to column distance 15 feet. But better you should keep within 13 feet. Now this distance is 
11 feet this is kitchen okay here to here this is 11 feet okay now i'll place the column here so paste here now i'll check this distance this column to this column this distance is 10 feet 10 inch okay now i'll provide column here so i'll copy on same line all the columns should be on same line okay so i'll copy from this line and paste here okay take vertical line see you can check the you can check whether all columns are in same line or not see here all the columns are in same line okay now now i'll provide another column here on this point okay so paste here now i'll move this point to this point okay now this distance is 10 feet so here also i'll provide another column so paste here and select move this point to this point okay all right so now this distance is 10 feet here to here this distance is 12 feet 6 inch okay so distance is okay now i'll provide another column here on this side okay so paste here and i'll move this so move this point to this point okay all right so now see now we need column here on staircase okay so i'll provide column here place here and another column here on this side okay now i'll place column here and provide column here on this point this is the staircase this is the toilet this distance is six four, six feet so here on this point column is not necessary but due to staircase i provide this column okay so now i provide another column here on portico now select move this move this point to this point okay and paste here another column okay so this is so column to column distance is 12 feet 6 inch okay this is 12 feet 6 inch now this is 10 feet this column to column is 10 10 feet this is 12 feet 6 inch okay this is 10 feet okay this distance 6 feet okay now this column to column distance is this is 7 feet now this is 12 feet 6 inch okay now this is the column uh, the column we have provided here now this is 12 feet 6 inch all right so now I'll mirror all the columns to another side. Okay. So this is also W. 
five feet window. Okay, so this is the one BHK and this is a single room. So I'll, this side also same. So I'll mirror all the columns to this side. So I'll change this line. I'll change the layer of this line to column layer. Okay. Now turn off all the layers. I'll turn off all layer. Turn off text layer. You can turn off all the layers at a time instead of one by one. Okay. Now charge a layer. I'm sewing very slowly. Okay. Now text. This is on zero layer. Okay. Now we have this much only. So I'll mirror this. So select all the columns. Select the columns and instead of these two columns, these two columns are not required. Okay. Mirror this. Okay. Now layer. Now turn on all layers. See. All the pillars are created here. Okay. We have mirrored all the columns. You can see all the columns here. These columns, these columns. Now this one, this one, these two. Okay. Now this line you can check here. This is this column. Now this line column. Now this line column. And this is the these two columns. Okay. Now change the layer to wall layer. Okay. So we have created all the columns now. So now we can check all the columns. We can check all the columns now. So in my next video, I'll provide stop columns. Some of my viewers are requesting to provide a video about stop columns. So I'll provide that video in my next video. Okay. In my next video, I'll provide stop column video. So this is the floor plan. So in my previous video, I have fixed windows, sorry, doors. So I'll move this doors to this floor plan so i've created this windows in my previous video so select all the doors and move i'll move all these doors move this this is the base point and Paste here. So in my previous video, I have created these doors also. Now I'll mirror these doors to another side. Okay. Mirror all the doors to another side. So select all the mirrors. Now, sorry, all the doors. Now I'll mirror this. Select all the doors and mirror to another side. And see. I have mirrored all the doors to another side. You can check. So, I have created these columns also. These doors. Doors I have created in my previous video. 
So in my next video, I'll create stop column and I'll fix stop columns in this flow plan. Okay. So hope you like this video. This is a very important video. So like and subscribe the channel. Thank you for watching.